Hello, this is Tony Hiller from RealClimateScience.com. I was looking for some unrelated climate information about Zambia and stumbled upon some spectacular data tampering by NOAA at Mangu in western Zambia. Mangu is located near the Zambezi River and they have two thermometers there with long-term data. The station at the north end is near the airport and it's called Mangu. The station in the south is called Mangu Asrodesia. Both stations show a strong cooling trend from the 1920s through the 1950s and an overall cooling trend for the data that's available. This is the cooling trend at the station in the north and this is a very similar cooling trend at the station in the south. This appears to be pretty solid evidence that Mangu Zambia cooled from the 1920s through the 1950s. The record of the two thermometers is very consistent, normally about one-tenth of a degree apart. Given two independent thermometers showing the same thing, there is no valid reason to believe that this thermometer data is not accurate. But at both stations, NOAA tampers with the temperature data to turn this cooling trend into a warming trend. This is the unadjusted data at the north station, and this is the adjusted data. And we see exactly the same data tampering at the south station. This is the unadjusted data, and this is the adjusted data. Just like at the north station, they turned a cooling trend into a warming trend. There's no excuse for this sort of data tampering and fraud at these two stations, but what's much worse is that they use this to create a completely fake global temperature record. I'm seeing this sort of fraud and the data tampering all over the world with the NOAA Global Historical Climatology Network Adjusted Database. The global warming trend which we keep hearing about is due to data tampering, not due to climate change. Toto has been pulling back the curtain on the climate scam for almost 16 years. You can visit him and his family on the web at realclimatescience.com.